All right, guys, girls, ladies and gents, this is Dale, Crash King RC. Um, it's about to get a little crazy. So I did not decide to tear it completely apart because I'm just going to paint it as a whole and see what happens with it. Um, I'm going to use the pure pearlized silver. Now, this is not going to coat. Uh, the whole car like a silver paint job. It is actually just a pearl coat. So it is a shiny silver, but it doesn't cover 100% coverage. So I'll show you what I mean by that. I did um, put a little liquid mask over top of the axial symbols. Um, I kind of like to advertise for a guy who builds a truck, so that's what I do. Uh, I'm running Alright, well I put some more paint in it. I am running 100% no thinner. This is a Kratex airbrush colors. Now this is a water based, but with this water base, um, they actually have a clear coat that they sell as well. And the clear coat is also a sealer. So once you paint it, it does, it does hold up pretty good. So. But as you can tell, uh, the silver pearlized is more of a, uh, you're not gonna, oh, there we go. Get the light to hit it just right. It does not cover the black completely. It's not like I'm gonna have a shiny silver frame, but what I'm gonna have is a really shiny frame when the sunlight hits it. So I'm gonna keep going, shoot a little bit of this and see what happens. <coughs>
crap. Oops. I don't know what happened there. Alright. Try it again, right? Alright guys, I am not a professional by a long shot, so if you see something I'm doing wrong, well, that's the way I do it, I guess. I don't know. That might have been something I did wrong right there. Um, I did add it to the inside of the frame. Pretty much the best I can, because I know that that will fill up a great deal. Now I do realize there's going to be some lighter spots and some darker spots. Um, but as you can tell, it is coming together quite a bit. Um, thickening it up just a little bit on the color. So a lot of small, uh, decent coats. Not so to speak thin, but just decent coats. So that's the whole theory behind it. Uh, this is what it's going to be. It'll be just a little darker. I am going to hit some more. I may go through with a pearlized blue and just dust the whole frame. Uh, if I do that, I will record that. But I'm going to go ahead and stop this at this. It looks like I've... Uh, uh, not that I can see my phone, but it looks like I've wasted nine minutes. So I'm going to pause this and I may come back when I do the blue. Now, as you can see, I did put the body post on it. Um, I figured I'd say that real quick, but I did not really shoot them with paint, so most everything that will be on them will be overspray. Um, the other thing, you know, I gave it a couple seconds. I'm slowly building. Um, I don't run my needle protector, uh, thanks to a gentleman. Uh, understand to clean your tip constantly if you get into the airbrushing. And with the model paints, is which one I'm going to call this especially, when you get into the finicky airbrushing, you want to do a lot of lighter coats. Like, I'll come over it two or three times, but I'm not laying anything heavy on. Um, if you try to lay this stuff on heavy, not just this paint, but several of the paints, you will get some serious runs. Don't worry if it don't cover. Go over it a couple times, go back a little bit later. Um, add a little more, a little more, a little bit goes a long ways in this case. So I'm going to get back to painting, um, but I figured I'd throw that in there just to kind of help those who haven't done this before. All right, guys, uh, something else I uh, kind of figured I'd throw out there as well. Um, because this is going to have a body on top of it, I am actually laying it on really heavy on the bottom. Um, 
and that is because once the body is mounted the top will not be nearly as visible so just figured I'd throw that out there as well um, I'm going to burn up what I have in here as you can see uh, hopefully the axial words uh, still show through pretty good so because of this being a pearl it is not just thick silver paint and covering it it is strictly a a coating um, in the sunlight this is going to reflect a lot heavier silver than what it is going to be just a dull silver frame it's going to be kind of a shiny frame or reflective so I'm going to shoot a little more and then I will uh, go right to the blue all right guys um, I am having some problems with my phone stand tonight but uh, the silver is on there I am dang near out of silver in my cup um, my cup has no longer run over um, now I'm gonna do something that some people are gonna think is crazy I would not do this if I was painting automotive uh, if I was painting a pearl I would um, because if I was painting a pearl I would most likely already have my original pearl in there so I grabbed the wrong pearl All right. So, um, being that I am going straight to another pearl, uh, what I am actually going to do is, uh, I'm not even going to clean my cup. I'm going to stick the blue pearl in to the cup and then go straight to town painting. So, uh, let me see, I really want to get a little of this blue on the top. So... What I'm going to do is flip this dude for a second. Uh, I was actually looking to see if I could find somewhere I could stick a couple of really long bolts to keep it from setting directly down. But I don't think I have any bolts that would be long enough. To, uh, I have something else. I'll pause this for a minute. Alright guys, uh, what I did is I found some longer bolts. It, it should give me just enough, hopefully, to clear from sitting directly on the base. Um, as you can see, the top is nowhere close to being as dark as the bottom. Uh, like I said, my pearlized blue. I am a blue fan, uh, the color. But what I'm gonna do is dump this right in there. Yes, there's silver in there. Yes, it's kinda gonna get a little silver in it. Guess what? I got silver in it. So, that is the plan right there. Take this cup. Now, this I am pretty much just standing back. A really fast tape. I do not want to turn this entire thing blue pretty much what I'm looking for is to get a, for lack of better words, an overspray attempt to it. So, when you're standing back looking at this truck, and you see the frame, you're going to see, see a big spurt there, some blue on it, but it is not totally going to be blue. You're still going to be able to see the silver. Alright, flip her back over. So that's the top side. This is where it's going to get a little fun, so to speak, because this is where I've got to be careful unless I want the heavy blue tin. Now, I don't care that it's got some blue. Obviously, that's what I'm heading for, but I don't want it to just be straight up blue. And this again is a pearl, so it does add a very shiny tint, but not a 100% takeover color.
fixed now as you can see it has a blue oh yeah I had the clogging issue fixed and went back to it Because there is actually a back black base behind this, which is the original color, uh, this is actually covering exceptionally well. So I may take this truck and just full blown blue too. I'm actually kind of liking the way it looks with that silver back in it. Could be wrong, it could not be for everybody, I'm sure it's not. But I actually like the way it's turning out, even though I'm going on a lot heavier than I had originally planned. Well, because of how good this is covering, and I think it looks really sharp, I'm going to keep going with the blue. But I'm going to shut this camera off, because uh, that's been enough, way too much. So, thanks for watching. Um, Alright, guys, uh, back. Uh, <laughs> it's not silver anymore. Alright, what I am getting ready to do is shoot the clear. And the clear coat, I'm going to kind of put it on um, kind of heavy, try to make sure that everything stays blue. As I said, this clear coat will actually, uh, I will put this over top of the heat vent and the heat actually activates the sealer in it, which helps it even dry and seal better. Now this is not a heavy gloss case, it is just a sealer pretty much. It does give it a little bit of that clear effect, but it's not like clear putting this car where when you walk away it's like holy cow. So, uh, this is what I'm doing, and this will pretty much be the end of it. This stuff will finish, uh, finish the paint job. But in between these two steps, I actually did clean my uh, cup out completely um, because I waited about 10 minutes or better. Um, this is a water-based. I do have a small fan and a filter in the window. Um, that's part of the noise sometimes. I turn it on to clear out the room. But uh, that's what it is. Um, I'll probably do a little bit more, but this video has went extremely long, for, especially for me. So I'm going to hit this a little bit more, and then we will wrap it up. All right, guys and girls, uh, this is finishing up. Um, and Painted everything good. Right. That is it. Now I'm going to put a little cleaner in this 
Right, so this is actually water based. So the cleaner is just a little bit stronger than water. But it, uh, it's real easy to clean in water. Um, the solution, I normally use it kind of to cut out the heavy, and then I go to, to the water. You don't have to do it that way. Obviously, you can use straight cleaner. Um, or you can use straight water. So, that is it. Um, I'm going to try to pull this off of the stand. <clears throat> I did touch it here when I flipped it over to clear the top. I caught it right there and, and got it. But... I'm not worried. I'm going to scratch that up anyways. But there it is. A crazy blue. Um, I've got to get the fan running here in a second. So. It didn't. Uh, it didn't turn out too bad. Um, but I think that'll look good under the truck. Just got to decide if I got to do the axles. Or how I'm going to do the axles. But that is it. Uh, longest freaking video on my record. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And let's see what happens with her. If I can get this thing wrapped up soon. Thanks again.